Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi and as you can see, I like Bitcoin. Today, beautiful Sunday, I'm going to make a very short TA update about Bitcoin, what to expect in this beautiful day. Let's go and jump. First chart, this is um, the day chart. We're going to zoom out a bit. We're not going to stress and freak out every minute. We are going to look at the day chart. We are finding support on that yellow line. The yellow line comes from all the way, if you look to the left, that area. <clears throat> the line is around 38,700 and we uh, wicked to it. So it is possible we will go sideways a little bit in between these two lines, 41 to 38K. We need to break above that first line, that second yellow line, and then retest it and stay above it. Every time when we go above it and we want to retest it, we fall down below it again. And that's not the good thing that we want to see on the daily. If you look at the RSI, um, you can see that RSI is still moving up, upwards. If you continue this green line um, like that. But we could retest that green line a bit, but we can see it curling up already. So that's pretty positive. But again, this doesn't look really bullish at the moment. <clears throat> the weekly chart doesn't look really bullish at the moment at all. Uh, we did have this beautiful long and we are seeing this green area. I told you guys we need to close the candle above that stepping line. The wick went above it, but the candle is closing in 16 hours. Um, and then it should be above 43,000. I don't think we will reach this in 16 hours. But you can see that this body is very small and the wick is very long. These kinds of candles are not very positive for bullish continuation. This is mostly um, a turnaround in the market. Like here, we had this <coughs> green wick, body small, wick long to the bottom. We went up. And then we had a red candle with a long wick to the top and that reversed the market. Now, a green candle is a green candle, so it won't be as um, influential to the downside as a red candle. But still, those long wicks, I don't like them. Let's see how um, we will close this uh, weekly candle in 16 hours and see if we come near the yellow stepping line. Um, let's zoom out a little bit to the monthly. This chart I've been showing you a few times this week. The thing that I didn't talk about, um, these three lines are very important. And I think that we would definitely hold the 21 uh, monthly MA at the moment. But the monthly on the, if you look to the bottom, to the MAC, uh, D, it doesn't look really positive. You see the blue line crossing the red line. And you see these first three red uh, volume bars. And the last time we saw these volume bars red was in this area over here, which was in February when we uh, reached the 200 MA. And the previous, the time before was the bear market uh, of 2018-19. So I don't like this um, development on the MAC. Um, and if you look at the RSI in the monthly, we can see that we are still in this downward trend again. Um, and if we want to break that, let's see. If I can draw this line, this line, this is the monthly downtrend. We need to break that to come and become positive again. So weekly, monthly, not really positive. Um, today, it's Sunday. I think <clears throat> uh, the CME closed at 39.3 on the 60 on Friday. So that will probably be also the opening um, today at 6 o'clock. I don't see a lot of movement today um, uh, in the charts. I think we are around the 39,300, so that's exactly where the CMA is. Um, guys, um, we have a free indicator. If you want to use the free indicator, go to the bitcoinfamily.com and you will find it on GTGAR. Um, this free indicator uh, looks really simple. I can show it one more time over here. Um, and you can use it to um, help with entering and exiting your trades. Like these combos over here, these are very good combos to go in the long. And this here, the orange and the red, is a very good combo to go into the short. Um, and then you have the moon cycle, of course, as well. So that's a double confirmation of that short. But you know, um, it all depends on the volume and on the market and if it's weekend or not. So you can see, you look to the past and you can just, um, you know, do your own research and uh, 
make use of a free indicator. Um, there is no service to this indicator, but you can go to Discord and uh, ask a lot of questions about it to all the other people. It is not as precise as the BAM indicator, but it does a great job um, and it is free. <clears throat> now, we have something more. <clears throat> this one is the MVRV Z-score. Um, this one, what does it mean? It's used to assess when Bitcoin is under or overvalued <clears throat> relative to its fair value. So, at the moment, we are not overvalued. The overvalued part is in this pink box. Undervalued is in this green box. We need to go up to become overvalued. So at the moment, this is a beautiful um, position, in my opinion, to be going and trending up again, because we want to become, you know, we want to become overvalued in the way that the price will be going up, and that is the moment again that we should be taking profits. Now the stock to flow model is saying the same. The stock to flow model, this green line, we haven't been that low many times in history. Just check it. We are now at this level over here. Um, this is 0.34 level. The last time we were at that level was over here. This was like before the bull market in 2017. And the time before that we were over here. That was before the bull market in 2013. So these low levels, we haven't seen them a lot. <clears throat> but what we can see, can see on the chart is that we have been trending down. If you look to this peak, and you would draw a line all the way down, 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 down. You can see there's a trend line coming down. So I believe that this green line is minimum, minimally going to go up to this 0 0.8 level again to touch that trend line. And that will be that last push, I think, in the bull run. Okay. Now, the Puel multiple is showing us something uh, as, as well, the same. Um, green box is a buying opportunity. Pink box is a selling opportunity. At the moment, we are not even... In the middle we are here so we are at these levels uh, over there and um, that's 0 0.8 level no, the top the peak and the first peak i need to say was over here around these levels 3.3 and the second peak was at the levels of 1.7 we are really low at the moment uh, here you can also see we have been trending up since the bear market so we are going higher 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 we need to have this yellow line going up as well very simple. Guys, if you want to uh, use exchanges, then please go to our YouTube channel. And um, in this YouTube channel, you will find my videos. And down below the videos, um, oh, that video is not watched that many times, but down below the videos, you will find in the first comment all the recent links, the Bybit bonus, 4,100, the OKX bonus, 5,000, Plemex, a lot of bonuses as well. Um, and that was everything for today, I think. Yes, it was. I hope you enjoyed the short Sunday morning TA update. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. And probably, guys, I'm going to do a live today as well. So um, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and see you else tomorrow again.